We present a system for face reenactment that replaces a face in the target sequence, such as the one on the right, with a face from a source sequence, thereby preserving the original target performance. Our system is fully automatic, does not require a 3D face model, and does not assume the source and target performance to be the same. We start by tracking facial landmarks in the source and target sequence. We then split the target sequence into consecutive clusters of similar frames. From these clusters, we extract a descriptor that encodes the appearance and motion of the main facial features, which is then used to find a matching source frame. Once we have a matching source frame for each target cluster, we transfer the source face to the target sequence and generate a smooth transition between the frames. In the final step, we compute a seam between the source and target face and use Poisson blending to produce a convincing composite. Here we show a reenactment result for existing high quality video. The reenactment is close to the original target performance, although source and target performance are unrelated. The final composite looks plausible. Here we show a result for the same source sequence, but a different target. Again, the reenactment looks plausible. Here we show a result for two other subjects involving moderate head motion. Here we show a result where the source and target sequence depict the same person recorded under similar conditions. For this case, the reenactment looks especially realistic. We also tested our system on low quality video taken from the internet. In this case, the source sequence is a webcam recording of the user performing arbitrary gestures and speech. Even for such input, the reenactment looks plausible. We tested the different components of our system by comparing the two systems that do not use motion information for image matching or clustering of the target frames. A user study favored our reenactment results. If we use a source and target the same video, the reenactment is almost identical to the original target video. This demonstrates the stability of our complete system. We also tested the quality of our reenactment for source videos of different length. A small amount of source frames leads to unrealistic results in which a static expression appears to be stuck on a moving face. Increasing the amount of source frames gradually improves the quality. In the last example, we compare our fully automatic system to the semi-automatic face replacement system of Dale et al.
Our result is close in visual quality. When comparing, one has to keep in mind that our system preserves the target performance, while Dale et al. preserves the source performance.